Welcome back. One from my perfect draft. A Belgian beer. A Belgian Abbey beer. Not a Trappist. I've been doing my Trappist series. It's an Abbey beer. And this is Leffe Noel. Leffe de Noel. It's their winter ale. And it is absolutely beautiful. I poured this maybe half an hour ago. 20 minutes, half an hour ago. I've let's set off, topped it up a wee bit from another glass that I'd poured at the same time. Because at first, when it, it comes out at 3 Celsius from the perfect draft, because there's no thermostat on that, it's a set temperature. There is a newer model, but it's not for sale to the public at the moment, I don't think. There's a few people who've got a hold of one. That's got a thermostat, so you can control the temperature. So something like this should be served probably, I don't know, between 8 and 12 Celsius, something like that. Maybe 10. It has to be a bit warmer. Because when you first pour it, you get no aroma, and there's very little flavour. So, so I've let it settle a wee bit. It's still, it's still cold. Uh, maybe I should just maybe I should have settled like this for 20 minutes but anyway we'll have a wee look at the colour first oh my goodness <laughs> that is so beautiful it's a, like a, a a deep brown with a reddish tinge to it it's actually despite all the, the condensation it's pretty clear. I can see the, the logo, the, the Leffy the logo on the chalice through it. That's absolutely beautiful. I won't swirl it because I've left no room and I'm hopeless at swirling chalices. There must be a technique. I'm going to have to practice that with water or something. Yes, I'm getting... There's a wee bit of fruitiness and spiciness and, and caramel is the toffee is the predominant smell but you do pick up subtle hints of maybe clove but it's very subtle anyway cheers my dears I'm a slister. It's all over my nose. Oh dear, dear. I may as well put that out there. Can you tell I'm from Scotland? I am not a blood and soil nationalist, by the way. I'm not saying Scots are better than anybody else. But we're not inferior to anybody else. People are people all over the world. I've been all over the world and people are people. You get good and bad. But I like Scotland. <laughs> visit. Visit me. Drop in. I might cut that bit out. So, the taste. I better go in again. Yeah, so it's fruity. Like, like, I don't know, raisins maybe, or figs or something like that. And it's a very slight clove presence. But it's subtle. It's very slight. And caramel. Toffee, as I would say. 
That is so nice. I, I put this keg in a couple of days ago. Poured the first drink. Had a quick taste. And then my first, my initial impression was this is the best beer I've ever tasted. I think I was sober at the time as well. But it was so delicious. Whether it was in comparison to what I'd just been drinking or what. I had just been drinking a really horrible beer. It was a Galaxy Pale Ale, Galaxy Hops, Australian Hops, which are very bitter. I had three cans left of that in my fridge. I thought, I better drink them or try them. I did manage to get through the three cans. And then I tasted this directly after it. And I th that the, the, the contrast was the best beer I've ever tasted. I, it probably isn't the best beer I've ever tasted, but I'll tell you what, it's right up there. Yeah, there is that maltiness. Oh, that is so good. Slight fruitiness. Like, I don't know, pruney, raisiny. Very slight spiciness. The barest hint. Oh, lad, state though. It's so good. Let's have a wee look on Untapped to see what they say. Right, so it's so it's the it's called Leffe de Noel. It's a, from Abbey de Leffe in Flanders in Belgium. It's described as a winter ale. It's six point six percent ABV, which. Although it's, it's barely noticeable, you can't tell it is boozy, but not strongly boozy. So it's 6.6, .6, yeah, it is. You can probably, it is, it is showing that. The IBU is not listed. Uh, no French check ins, everyone else 16,000 with an average of 3.36. That is very low. So it's described as a winter ale. A description, Leffe Christmas is a seasonal beer that can be savoured every year during the holiday season. The fruity, spicy bouquet makes this a heartwarming beer full of character. And then it's got in quotes here, Combining tradition and age-old recipes, Leffe Christmas returns every year to show off its golden hue. It is a beautiful colour. It's smoked flavour. Now that's one thing I didn't pick up. I'm not really picking that up. It's smoked flavour and notes of clove, caramel and coffee. My goodness. I can't see I'm picking up that either. <laughs> it's smoked flavour and notes of clove, caramel and coffee allude to a little miracle just waiting to happen. When poured into its Leffe chalice, Leffe Christmas fully unleashes its aromas and little by little reveals the mystery behind the magic of Christmas. I was intending to have this on Christmas Day. But I had the triple caramelite, triple caramelite beer in, and that was super strong, and I couldn't finish that in time to have this. So it took like maybe two weeks to get through that. <laughs> I forced myself to make go through that. It wasn't a hardship, but I never managed to have this on Christmas Day. This is now what. The 3rd of January, 2022. 
So anyway, the descriptors are sweet, dark, spicy, malty, strong. I don't know what they mean by strong. Do they mean like a rich flavour? I don't know what they mean by strong. Do they mean a strong flavour? It's not that. It is a full-bodied beer. I'll, I'll go along with it. Yeah. Anyway, this is outstanding. This is... I think this is probably top five beers I've ever had. And it is only available from a uh, beer hawk buying keg, six litre keg. So I've got six litres of that, ten and a half imperial pints. I am going to savour every drop of that. I'm not going to rush my way through it. I'm just going to savour it. It is absolutely beautiful and roll on next Christmas so I can buy some water. I'll I'll have a look on their website to see if there is any. If there is, I'm going to snap them up. That is superb. It is outstanding. I've rambled on again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Oh, look at the colour. Hold on. I never done a light test, did I? you never seen the full glory of this beer. That is the most beautiful colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. Cheers.